At 9 and 3, the Ball State Cardinal football team is headed to St. Petersburg to play in the Beefo Brady's Bowl on December 21st. A big reason for the Cardinals' success is second year head football coach Pete Lembo. We got to sit down with the Cardinal head coach to talk about the key to rebuilding the Ball State football team and what enticed him to take the Cardinal job in the first place. Well, first of all, when I came and saw the campus, I was so impressed with the look and the feel of the campus. A lot of times, public institutions don't have the feel to them that Ball State has, how compact it was, how easy it was from get to, to get from point A to B to C. And I was really impressed with some of the academic programs, and a lot of them are such a great fit for what student athletes want to study. For example, communications, business, construction management, exercise science, the list goes on. I felt like this would be a great place to recruit young men to. When you come here in a situation where, you know, the program is, is looking for more success, what are some keys that you initially pinpoint uh, to try to maybe turn around or change uh, in, in the whole grand scheme of things? Well, the first thing is to build relationships. That's something that's consistent in just about any endeavor in life. Uh, it's all about people. It's, it's all about relationships. So from day one, we really tried to get to know these young men. We were very sensitive to the fact that they had been on quite a roller coaster ride and that there had been a lot of instability in the program. And we really dedicated ourselves to getting to know them and building trust in, with them. What would you say is something about this team that maybe the average person, the average fan doesn't know from any aspect? Well, it's amazing how tight-knit they are and how even-keeled they are. And they never seem to get too high and they never seem to get too low. They've been ready to play every week um, and they've been able to endure some real highs and lows throughout these games. And one thing people probably do know is that we found a way to finish and win a bunch of close games in the end. Speaking of those close games, what do you think is, is maybe the secret to that? I mean, when you look statistically, Ball State is near the top of the nation in the past two years in football games decided by seven or less points. What's been the key for you guys to winning those games? I think it gets down to the culture every day and the way we practice and the expectations. And we try to create situations in the building on the practice field, in the weight room, so that our guys are prepared to finish. Uh, our strength coach, Dave Feely, has had them in tip-top shape. Uh, and from year one to year two, uh, I feel like we've taken a substantial step forward in our physical conditioning. Uh, but the way we practice and the length of our practice and the detail that we expect in practice puts our guys in position to finish games. There have been 15 wins the past two years uh, in this program. Is there anything since you came here that's maybe been more of a struggle than you thought or you continue to struggle with more than maybe originally envisioned? Because maybe the outsider would see it as things are pretty rosy. They've been going pretty well the past couple of years. Well, one of my biggest faults is a lack of patience. And you'd like things to move along always a little bit faster than they do. And our record is what it is. We're really excited to be a nine-win team in year two of this process, but it still is very much a process. And we're still building our infrastructure. We're still building our depth. We're still getting bigger, faster, and stronger. We're trying to improve our talent level. We're trying to improve our facilities. So across the board, it's still very much a work in progress. And the last thing I want is for our constituents and our fan base to think we've arrived because we haven't arrived. On that subject, at nine and three in your second year, did you have kind of a placeholder of where you wanted this program to be at this point? And if so, would you consider yourself on schedule, ahead of schedule? Well, I always try to keep expectations high, and I certainly believe in our players and our, and our assistant coaches. So I never want to sell those guys short and say we're only capable of X number of wins. What you hope is that you're playing to your potential and that you're achieving to your potential. And considering the schedule, considering the lack of seniors that we have in the lineup, considering that we're just about two years into this process, you'd be hard pressed not to say that this team hasn't achieved some pretty special things in just year two. But again, 
we take a very humble approach to what we're doing and, and we realize that it's still very, very much a work in progress. Take me through the past couple weeks with the bull selection process. What's that been like, maybe petitioning to different bull games, and when did you finally know that Beef O'Brady's was the answer? Well, it was an exciting process, but it was also a somewhat stressful process for A.D. Bill Scholl and myself because it was changing day to day. I tried not to have our players worry about that. I tried to not let our assistant coaches worry about that. They need to stay focused on the day-to-day -day micro aspects of the program. Now, we felt pretty good that we were going somewhere. There were six or seven different options and we were hearing from different people. I think Joel Gadet and, and our marketing people did a nice job of, of uh, showing uh, these bowls, what we were all about, uh, and sending videos and different promotional materials, which was helpful. Uh, Mr. Scholl and myself had contact with a number of the people from the bowls that had questions about our team, but I'm really excited about where we ended up. In this program's history, they've had a MAC champ. There's been MAC championships, been a perfect regular season. There's been they've been ranked uh, in the polls. But one thing that's never happened in this program is a win on a bowl game. What would that mean to you in this program to potentially be the first time that that could happen on December 21st? Well, I'm a guy that loves history. And we talk to our players a lot about history and trying to make some of our own history and make this a special time that we have here together. And certainly a win in a bowl game, and this is our first opportunity to do it, would be an exclamation point to what has been a season of historical achievements for our program.